Good morning, everyone. We are so excited to have you here today to celebrate the launch of What is Energy, our partnership with CPS. We couldn't be more excited to welcome you all here. Young learners have the power and the promise to make change in the future. So when we create tools like the CPS Energy Passport, we're basically teaching them very early in life to be aware of the systems that operate around them. We're hoping to inspire young conservationists in partnership with CPS Energy. It's the most exciting part of our work. We absolutely love it. So the Energy Passport is a really great tool that you know, we help collaborate and partner on uh, to help young learners really understand about energy generally um, and what they can do to, in their own life. And if you think about it, what we're really trying to do is just get an informed public and why not start young? It's about the future of energy and so you know, what, a, what a great way to start with children early on so they can be part of that discussion. I'm really excited to work with the Duseum to bring Watt Watchers to life in this space because I think energy and water are critical to humanity and critical to modern civilization. And anything we can do to increase people's energy and water literacy, to increase the educational materials that they have available and teach them some things about it, I think is great because then they can take that knowledge with them for the rest of their life. I just think it's a great experience. I remember having a lot of fun early on when kids were young. and. And now this is a fantastic facility and they, they've grown so much more. So it's, it's really great to be a part of the organization. We think these educational programs and these hands-on live in-person exhibits at the Duseum and elsewhere will help spark some interest in energy water, which we hope will carry through people's education and then go on with them for life. Hopefully it's a newfound excitement into the topic of energy and energy delivery and ultimately become a participant in the conversation around what the future of energy is going to look like and you know, just participate in, in those discussions and those changes. When you help a child early in life see STEM as a practical concern, that benefit stays with them their whole career as a learner, which is why it's so exciting to create programs like this for children, because they're beginning to form their identity as a presence in the science community. They want to participate in the scientific democracy as adults. The time to start that is now. I think the most important part is for them to realize how it's part of everyday life. Whether you're buying a product or you're at your home, staying cool in this heat, uh, it's everywhere. It, it underpins the, you know, the economy that we have. And once you kind of understand the, the importance of it to all of our daily lives and in our health, um, then you're really in a position to do something about it. You know, how can you help conserve? How can you focus on sustainability? When you put all those together, it's a really great tool set you know, for, for our children. I love working with CPS Energy because the company is committed to doing what's right for the community and for its neighbors and really investing in the future of energy and water and really making the community a part of that. So I think that's really the way to go is in a collaborative nature and that's what CPS Energy does.